internet! It's me, nerdy tea, Teresa. This week I'm gonna be talking about things that I have watched and read this week that I've loved and uh, some thoughts about it. Okay, so first of all, I finished uh, my, like, one of my favorite books of all time. I keep rereading, like, once a year or something like that. And I finished my reread for this year or last year or something. This semester. I finished it this week. So I thought I'd talk to you about that a bit. It's called The Fire Stone by Tanya Huff. Um, it also comes in this model. They're both out of print, uh, but you can find it. I think you can find it as ebooks. Uh, I'll link down below. And you can also find it in like thrift shops and stuff like that. Anyway, The Firestone is a fantasy novel, standalone. Uh, it's 300 ish pages. It's. Okay. I don't really know how to explain how what I love about this. It's a um, really well-contained, everything has its place in story. Uh, like from a writer's perspective, I really enjoy watching how it's built. Uh, but it's also, uh, the characters are amazing. You start out, at least this time, um, as I've grown, I've shifted in my perspective, so. Uh, but, like, you start out sort of not really liking any of them. <laughs> I mean, I love them, but at the same time, they're super annoying. And one is an alcoholic, one is emotionally damaged beyond anything. Uh, so he's, like, repressing everything. Uh, and the third one is, um, very arrogant, I would say. She, uh, she's a very powerful wizard, and she's 16, and she's, like, Ah, <laughs> um, it's hard to speak ill of these characters because I love them so much. The thing that I enjoy the most about this is their development throughout the story and how they come to be friends and how they rely on each other to heal. I also really enjoy the setting. It's not medieval Europe like so many fantasy novels are. Uh, it's some sort of fantasy version of the Middle East, which means that only one character is white. Um, which I really enjoy reading and yeah, it's it's just really good. Side note that the author is white, so you know, just so you know. Tanya Huff is my favorite author of all time. Um, I have every single one of her books, sometimes in two versions because <laughs> if I see one I have to buy it if I don't have it and sometimes when I see one and I already have it, it in the exact same version I sort of want to buy it anyway I haven't yet but you know you never know her sense of humor is sarcastic and wordplay and I love it so much she has a lot of queer characters like so many she's a queer woman herself so She's a feminist, so she'll write things like... One of my favorite lines, oh, let's see if I can quote it right now, is they come to a door and there's a guard there and they're like... Muscles and tattoos barred their way from c coming in and they were super intimidated. Okay, I'm paraphrasing now. And then, like, two sentences later, it's like, the guard, she, and you're like, oh, right, because I just assumed it was a dude because muscles and tattoos, but it's not, and it's awesome. She does that a lot, she plays with your perceptions, and yeah, it's amazing. Okay, I think I'll stop gushing about Tanya Huff and the Fire Stone now, but love, love. And I'll move on to the other two things that I thought I'd talk about this week. I started watching a show called The Gifted. It's set in the X-Men universe and I've just watched the first episode but I love it so much. As you can see right here, 
I am an X-Men fan and yeah. I think I'll do a proper review once I finished the season. I'll just do my first impression now, which is that it's well written. It is has amazing characters and actors. Uh, Amy Acker is in it and as a Buffy and Angel fan, that is awesome. It's so good to see all of these characters from the comic books uh, on, on screen. And I sort of feel like they're doing a much better job of representing them now than they were back in the movies. I'm talking the three original movies now, the reboot things. So. I mean, I like them, but they don't feel very x men to me. None of the movies do actually, but I love them anyway. It's set in some sort of parallel universe to this one, and they, they keep alluding to the X-Men and the Brotherhood having disappeared. Uh, so I'm really curious about what that is all about. But they have like super strict uh, mutant laws and the Sentinels are everywhere and <clears throat> sort of dystopian. Um, super interesting. So I'll get back to that once I finish the season. Uh, and the second thing I wanted to talk about was... Actually, I'll talk about two more things. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, the second thing I wanted to talk about was One Day at a Time, which is... Uh, it's a sitcom, I would say, that rips your heart out on a daily basis and <laughs> is amazing. It's on Netflix, at least here in Sweden, and probably in the US too, because... That's how it usually works. It, it's about a Cuban-American family living in uh, Los Angeles. Um, and they have a white neighbor who keeps dropping by. Uh, and lots of shenanigans is, ensue. I, don't, I can't really explain what I love about this show. It's just so fresh. Like, they, t they talk about so many issues. Like, the second episode of the first season, they bring up, like, illegal immigration and how stricter immigration laws are affecting people who have lived in the US all their lives. And it's, it's really good. Yep. I don't really know what to say more, but they're, like, uh, they just finished the second season and... You should definitely check them out. Signal boost. Uh, okay, the third thing I wanted to talk about was just in quick note that I started watching Black Lightning on Netflix as well, which is, it's a black, about black superheroes uh, and you should watch it. It is so good. I've only watched the first episode of that one as well because uh, there's only one episode up. On Netflix in Sweden, I get the impression that's not the case elsewhere and I'm jealous. But hopefully I'll get more soon and I can talk about it more. But it seems amazing and I hear there's a lesbian character and I'm happy. <laughs> uh, so check that out and I hope you enjoyed yourself and maybe we'll go read the Firestone and watch all the cool shows. Next week I'll try to make a video about my thoughts and feelings about the show The Runaways versus the comic book The Runaways. I have a lot of thoughts on that, so maybe it'll be a really long video, but since this one wasn't short either, maybe you'll be used to that by then. Um, yeah, if you like what you saw today, subscribe, um, leave a comment down below about what you've been watching and reading this week. And yeah. Oh, and like stuff. Please like me. <laughs>